Hey everyone, what's up? Uh, I'm Evan, I'm here with Sam. And uh, in this video, we are gonna show you how to use uh, Tatum's NFT marketplace smart contract with our royalty NFTs. Uh, if you don't know what those are, they are NFT, NFTs that can pay royalties to multiple creators. So for example, if you make a video uh, with several other co-authors and you want to each receive a cut of every transaction of the NFT uh, forever, you can do that with our royalty NFTs. So uh, they work perfectly now with our new NFT marketplaces and Sam's gonna show you how to do it. So take it away, Sam. Thank you, Evan. Hi guys. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna show you how to create a marketplace for NFTs and how to put NFTs on sale and the NFTs are the royalty NFTs. As Evan mentioned, the, the, the royalty NFTs are the ones which pays the, the the cashback to the altars forever and it's forced on the blockchain level not on the application level which means the logic should be adjusted a little bit from the marketplace perspective if you want to support these on-chain royalties but we have that done for you and we are going to show you what what to do first step here is we're going to deploy the marketplace contract the marketplace contract is uh is your marketplace and you can use it for for listing and, and selling all the NFTs in the future. This is one time operation. And you just need to, so you just need to deploy the marketplace contract once and leverage throughout the, the lifetime of your application. There are only two important fields here you need to take care of. And it's connected to the fee for the, 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 for, for the, for the trades. It means you need to set how much money or how much assets will be grabbed from each trade that happens on your marketplace. For example, I put my NFT on sale for one Ethereum and the marketplace fee is 10%. So I sold my NFT for one Ethereum and 0.1 Ethereum will be transferred to the marketplace fee recipient if I put 10% as a marketplace fee. Right now I have put 2.5%. So I need to enter 250. And this is the address where the fees will be sent for each of the completed of the completed trade. So let's just deploy the, the marketplace. The result is a transaction ID. We can check out the transaction later. What we need to do in order to, to put NFT on sale is that we need to create, we need to have NFT we are gonna sell. <laughs> Right now, we are gonna we are gonna mint NFTs with our with our royalty features included. Which means, when you are minting your NFT, you need to set the the number of percent, which should be the royalty, and the address of the author who should receive the royalty. The royalty is paid for each transaction of for each transfer of that NFT on chain and you can't avoid it. It means if I'm going to transfer my NFT to someone else, I need to pay the royalty to the author, me as a, as a, as a, as a sender of that NFT. Without paying the royalty to the author, I can't transfer NFT to someone else. If you want to work with these royalty NFTs, you need to set the recipient of the royalty What's the percent? What's the percent of the royalty? So right now we are going to use two percent of each transfer, and we have something called a, a fixed value uh, fallback assets or 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 some, some kind of a fallback mechanism, where you said that if the royalty is less than this fallback fixed price the fixed, fixed price will be transferred as a royalty instead of that percent one. If we do the, the quick calculation or quick example, for example, I have the NFT, I'm going to sell it for one Ethereum. The royalty is 0.00001%. But the fixed value is, for example, 0.1 Ethereum. I'm saying that instead of, of paying the royalty fee, uh, 0.00001 Ethereum, 
I will pay the fixed value because it's higher than the calculated percent royalty. This is some kind of fallback mechanism when the royalty is too low for the author that he doesn't want that low, but it's something like a, like a minimum threshold below which the, the royalty can't, can't go. So let's just mint new token. Let's say ID would be 100. With this as a, as a royalty recipient with 2% and 0.002 as a, as a fallback plan, I'll just mint it to myself. Now we can go back to the create to the deploy marketplace operation. And we can see that we have created new marketplace contract. This is the address of the contract, and we need to copy that. And we are going to create in this marketplace our new listing of the NFT. So I'm, I'm going to put my NFT on sale. In the API, there's a general rule. If you are interacting with a smart contract, the contract address is always address of the smart contract you want to perform operations on. In our case, right now, it's a marketplace contract. And I'm going to create a new listing of the NFT. So the NFT address is the address of the NFT smart contract. It's the same address as the contract address inside the Mint NFT operation. I'm gonna create. I'm gonna sell. I'm gonna sell token number one hundred. I'm gonna create listing number one, and this is ERC seven to one uh, NFT contract type. So this is set to true. I'm gonna put my NFT for sale on zero point zero for zero point zero one matics. I am the seller, so this is the address of the seller, and I wanna receive my zero point zero one matics to this address. And I need to put amount here. The amount is the is present here because I'm gonna create a new listing of my royalty NFT. And from this amount, the from this amount, the royalty cashback will be paid to the royalty recipient because I'm gonna transfer my NFT. So I need to pay the I need to pay the royalty because NFT will be transferred to someone else. There is a royalty which should be paid. So I need to pay the royalty and amount means the royalty which should be paid. We can put 0 0.001 or I don't know what's the what's the royalty there, but if I put one royalty, the smart contract will automatically detect the correct royalty and the rest will be sent to me so let's create a listing the result is a transaction id and we can check it in the explorer and we will see there that the the nft that the nft listing on the marketplace was created correctly and the royalty was transferred to the marketplace which means, as yes, you can see, that this is the 0 0.0002 royalty. And it means that the royalty was paid to the marketplace. The rest of unused assets from this one matic we have sent was returned back to me. So the royalty was already prepaid. Right now, what we need to do is we need to approve we need to allow the NFT, the, the marketplace contract, to transfer my NFT to someone else. Because in blockchain, you can't like transfer assets owned by someone else just randomly. You, you can't just say, I'm going to transfer this NFT from guy number one to guy number two, and you don't own that NFT. So you as an owner, so me as a seller, need to approve you need to approve the spending of the nft to someone else so i am gonna allow token number 100 on this nft contract address to be transferred by the marketplace so we need to set the marketplace contract as a spender contract address is the address of the nft this is token number 100 
and me as the owner will allow transferring of that NFT to the marketplace. So right now in the buy operation, we can tell the marketplace from some random buyer, someone else, that he wants to buy the, the NFT. This is the buyer, this private key is a buyer, it's some random guy who wants to buy your, your lovely NFT. This is the address of your marketplace. The random guy is going to buy NFT from the listing number one because he loved it. And he needs to pay the amount for the NFT. So he needs to pay 0 .0 0 0.1 Matic and he needs to pay some, uh, some marketplace fee as well. So the price here must be higher than the must be higher than the price of the asset. It must be topped up with a fee which is going to be paid to the marketplace provider. So we have right now performed the buy operation on the marketplace. The new buyer will receive the NFT from the seller. The seller will receive the price paid by the buyer. The marketplace will receive the marketplace fee and the royalty owner will receive his royalty. And let's check it in the Explorer. We can see that the NFT was transferred from the seller to the buyer. We can see that the buyer has sent some matics to the contract. And we need to wait a little bit till the Explorer will index all the internal transfers. Perfect. And we can see that the fee was paid to the marketplace, fee recipient. We can see that the price 0 0.01 was paid to the seller. And we can see that the royalty was paid first to the marketplace, first to the NFT, and then from the NFT contract to the royalty recipient. So we can see all the operations here, royalty, price for the NFT and the marketplace fee and NFT was transferred to the new owner. Thank you guys. And I'm looking forward for our next video where I'm gonna show you how all this could be done for ERC20 token instead of the Matic as a as a, as a currency for the cell operation. Thank you all. Great, thanks Sam. See you guys in the next video.